<laughs> well, Chavez, Slovakia, I'm already itching. <laughs> I just started itching right now. <laughs> this is going to be disgusting. Okay, look, if you are squeamish, and I definitely am when I'm not on the job, and I have not been on this job for a while, then skip through the video. Okay, I'm not going to say skip it because it's important information, especially at the end of the video. It'll be some really important information. Uh, somebody do me a favor just link to when we get to that, the story portion and the kind of what to do's portion of the video. Oh my god, I'm fucking cringing out. But this is a definitely a try not to cringe challenge. I don't know when I'm going to put this up, but it's about bed bugs. And if you guys know what bed bugs are, well, then you're already on the up and up. Uh, right now, you know what, let me just look up a little enlarged photo of a bed bug real quick so you guys can just get a quick look. This is what a bed bug looks like, okay? This is on somebody's skin. Oh, God, this is gross. Oh, here's a great picture of the life cycle of a bed bug. This is really important. Uh, but, no, I won't let you guys look at that. I'm just, you just check out what they look like. So that's what a bed bug looks like. So what happens is people can get these bugs usually in their bedroom, which is why they're called bed bugs, but they can be inside of couches uh, they really like woods. They can be inside of bookshelves sometimes. A lot of times people get mattresses from off the street. They have bed bugs in them. It's a bug that can live inside of your home. Bed bugs are parasites. So they live, they live from people's blood, right? So they actually suck people's blood. Some other types of species, like bat bugs and things like that. I'm definitely really itching uh, thinking about this. Some uh, other species like bat bugs and things like that can actually feed off of animals and things like that. And they can cause like skin rashes and bumps all over your body. And the problem with bed bugs is that they, they can live in your baseboards, on your mattress itself, and they like dark spots. They don't like to be exposed to light. So obviously when you walk into a room, you might not even know that there are bed bugs there. And so you go to bed at around, you know, between nine and 12, every night well that's when the bed bugs are going to be expecting you there and that's when they're going to start to be active when you're actually in bed sleeping they'll sense that warmth of you being there and they'll come up and eat the shit hi cat i know fucking scared the shit out of me just then though uh here's a pretty good picture of what some small some younger bed bugs look but you see those black spots on the bed so bed bugs don't have a stomach that like we have they don't digest the food that we have so they eat and shit right after one another right so they eat and poop at the same time and because they eat blood blood turns black when it gets onto sheets and gets aerated and everything so you'll see black dots everywhere that's how you know you've had bed bugs because they'll eat and then poop right after they eat right and then go dormant again so you might not even see them out in the open so we're gonna check out some of the worst bed bug infestations <laughs> on the internet. Uh, there's two vids specifically that I'm going to check out. I might check out another one. I feel like it doesn't do you justice. And then I'm going to tell you about the worst bed bug infestation I have ever seen. But that's the parasite that I'm talking about. Here's my cat since he wants attention. Hi. Hi, kitty. Hi. He's like, put, you see him stiff arming me now? Like you bothered me to come up here. Now you're up here. Are you not satisfied? He's not satisfied with shit. You want to be on camera? You're just going to sit in my lap? Okay, that's cool. I guess he'll just sit in my lap while I'm here. I guess that's right. But okay, so this is a Worst Bed Bug Infestation by Global Pest Solutions. Woo! Okay. Hi, guys. Craig again with Global Pest Solutions. We're here at another bed bug job that we just set up. This is probably one of the worst infestations that we've seen. Oh, okay, so this is interesting. You see that pipe that's behind them right there? So they're actually heat treating this home. Now, for me, in my experience, heat treating is probably one of the worst ways to get rid of bed bugs in a lot of cases. And that just depends on the type of setup you have. It is very effective. Just like any other insect, bed bugs die when it gets too hot, right? So if you heat up a house enough, they just die. So it's like well, one of the main things to get rid of bed bugs out of your clothes and out of your bed sheets is to heat them. Just put them in the dryer on really high heat to heat them up and kill them. So what that does is it heats your entire house to a, a temperature that's so hot that all the bed bugs just die. But the problem is because a lot of houses are insulated, it can just push bed bugs into the walls. It can push them into outlets. And an apartment complex is one of the worst. The reason that the bed bug infestation was so bad that when I went, was because they had been heat treating individual apartments, pushing the bed bugs into the walls, and they were just coming out on the other side and pushing bed bugs from apartment to apartment to apartment. So it can be effective, but. Show you what it looks like and show you what we're doing. Go 
bed bugs and then follow me inside. Yeah, a lot of the time this is not the best way to get rid of bed bugs is by heating the house. We'll kind of dull down the sound a little bit just because it's really obnoxious sounding. I don't know why he's doing this video with all of these fucking things on, but he's going to take us back here to the bedroom to show us some of the places that are affected. Uh, yeah, I just don't like how invasive this is as a system, but it can work. You see that? You see that? That is bed bugs, bed bug feces in the bathroom. You don't live in your bathroom. So why in the hell would you have bed bugs there? But after places get crowded when there's not enough room, they'll go anywhere that they can go. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fucking awful. That they probably got bed bugs everywhere. I would probably start with a heat treatment on a house that's this bad. If they're everywhere like that, yeah. Oh, like look at them just walking around. That is very abnormal. We, when we go to do bed bug inspections, you're looking to flip mattresses, get tear into some cushioning. I mean, Go find the bed bugs. Right here, they're just like out in the open. That shit's awful. Holy shit. That is bug shit on the wall. My nigga, look at those fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. He sleeps. He sleeps here. This person lives here. Oh my God. Oh, they're fucking everywhere. Oh my god, the bugs are fucking everywhere. Oh my god, please don't. Oh my Jesus! Oh! 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 Look at them moving! Oh my god! Oh, that's so many fucking bugs. Oh my god, that's so many fucking bed bugs. Oh! Oh, I would burn my fucking clothes. Dude, I would burn, I would set my clothes on fucking fire if I walked into a house. You desanitize me. Oh, Jesus. Over here on this, those bed bugs that we're moving, uh, you're not seeing a whole lot of activity now. It's that fast. As soon as we move that suitcase or that briefcase that was covering those, they just had nowhere to go. So, I mean, it instantly just dries them out. Uh, the 140 is instant kill. Like we've said on previous videos, uh, this is the gentleman's pillow. Uh, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty repulsive. I don't know how anybody sleeps like this, but he was. He literally sleeps on this every night and this mattress. Um, we're gonna throw that onto the. Mattress. Yeah, you know it's crazy sometimes when you see the living conditions of some people, man. It makes you so sad. And it's funny, like bro, we're here to help. Just let us help you. You don't have to live like this. It's not that expensive. We can do it. I don't know why you'd even try to save this mattress. I really don't get it. Throw this shit in the fucking trash can. Look at that down there. Look at that big ass mat of shit. That is all dead carcasses, uh, egg sacs, dead bed bugs. Uh, this mattress should be thrown out. A lot of times we can save the mattress. This mattress is no. beyond repair. No, don't save that shit. This, uh, yeah, this is really bad. This box springs and mattress need to go. This is uh, oh. probably years of bed bug infestation. Definitely. I was getting ready to say, this dude's had them for years. This dude has been living with these things for years. I'm going to attempt now to move the box spring and see if we can show you something going on there, too. Yeah, let's see the box spring, dude. I'm interested. Oh, good God. I bet you it smells rank in there, bro. And what's crazy is these bed bugs are living off of him. They're parasites. They're they're eating his blood. I know he feels better. I've been in a lot of bed bug jobs, and this is actually grossing me out. Get that shit off of there. Let's see underneath it. Get that shit off of there. Let's see it. I'm so excited. Okay. We're gonna let this cook for a little bit. He doesn't want to move it. He don't want to move it.
Well, from what I said before about the heat treatments, this guy's actually doing a really detailed job with this house. The problem is most technicians don't do this much work. Oh, good lord. Yeah, man, the guy's not taking care of his house. I think that's enough of that house. If you guys want to see more of that house, please feel free. But I don't know if I can handle any more of it. The next video we're going to check out, an up-close video of a bed bug infestation. So this one is, I think they use like a GoPro or something like that to, to get in there and check it out. There we go. We uh, didn't even have to inspect for them. We found a, a huge population of them. I know the quality is bad. I'm just going to skip to the part where they get to the uh, inspection. Yeah, that's crazy. If you have bed bugs, okay, wait, wait. Before he unveils it, before he unveils it, if you have bed bugs, you're not going to see them on your curtains. You're not going to see them walking on your walls normally, right? But look, look what happens. So you see like one or two on the curtains, right? And so as a technician, you're like, this infestation is bad. Watch. And so look before he unveils. Look at that. Look at that fucking mattress. You saw on top of the mattress. You Look, I'll show you again. Look on top of the mattress, right? It looks fine. Looks like a perfectly clean bed sheet and everything. And then look underneath. Look what it really looks like. Look at that shit. Oh my God. Those are bugs. That's bug shit and bugs. I don't think they even said they had a problem. Like, you don't need a dog. I've never called the office. I've never one time called the office. So this is new to everybody. Look at this. Look at the feces. Dude, this has been going on for months and months and months. Dude, that's probably it. Yeah. Almost a year. Because that's, that, that's discharge from eating your blood. Yeah. And so look, we're going to get to the part where he gets into the mattress. Look at this. Look at this when he lifts up this mattress. You see him moving? You see him moving? These are not bug stains. These are actual bed bugs. Down here by the um, frame now. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. I am not looking forward to this, but look at this shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, look at these pictures. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, okay. All right. Look. The links are in the description. I can't take any more of that. I'm not watching any more of that. Uh, but just at the end. So, very quickly, one the major things, you know, people get really worried after you talk to them about bed bugs because you saw the setup. The first house obviously was ridiculous. There's bed bugs all over the house. They've known for a long time, right? But the first signs of getting bed bugs is actually bug bites. You can actually see visible bites on, you know, your skin. So that's the first sign. Sometimes they get irritated and itch, but sometimes they don't because you're actually numb when they bite you. The bed bugs actually numb up your skin. You don't actually feel yourself getting bit at any point, right? The second thing is the black dots. That's when you know it's starting to get a little bit bad, but it's a, probably the first visual sign you're going to see of bed bugs is the black dots of feces around, you know, your, probably where your head rests or where your legs are at. Um, the next thing you can do is an inspection, which is really easy to do. And that is just moving your mattress. Because how often do people actually lift up their mattress and check under their beds, their uh, check behind their beds and things like that? Probably not that often. So if you think you're getting bit and you don't know from what, that's probably the next best thing to do is to actually move your bed around if you think it's bed bugs. The actual treatment for bed bugs, if it's not that severe, okay, and we're talking... And we're talking, you you know, you had somebody come by and do an inspection. Most places do them for free. And they're not that concerned about it. And they're just telling you, you know, definitely just alerting you that it's happening. You need to take action now. So if you take all of your clothes 
and you wash them on hot. The hottest they can be washed on, that'll kill the bed bugs on contact with that heat. Now, if you're using it your own laundry room to do that, you need to make sure you're plastic bag tying all of your clothes individually, right? So not each individual, each shirt in its own bag, but I mean all the stuff that's in the room that has bed bugs needs to be in its own plastic bag, separated from everybody else's stuff. Don't even put the laundry next to each other, right? And you need to wash that stuff as hot as it can be washed. Um, same thing with the bed sheets, all of that stuff. And alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is actually a contact kill for bed bugs. So you can actually treat mattresses and things like that. But the problem is you need to do it very detailed because there is no residual on rubbing alcohol. Which means once you spray it and it dries up, it's gone. So if you spray it and you miss a crevice where there's a bed bug in it, you're done, bro. You didn't finish. You still have bed bugs. So it's actually a pretty difficult thing for people just to pick up and do. Um, just off, off of nothing, you know, off of no experience or anything like that. So the last thing I would have you do is to have an actual technician come out.